Hello guys, my name is Tassin and welcome to the fourth tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download the image from the server and show it into the list view up in here. Uh, before I proceed I want to say that I'm not done tutorials for a long time and I wasn't prepared to do this one. I actually got a request yesterday so I'm doing this quick video. So if you don't understand anything or have questions please comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So there are two scenarios where <coughs> you can actually have image on a server or in the database. So for example, for scenario, I assume that you create a new user, you fill in all the details, you upload the image to the image folder. So this is my local host uh, server here. So you upload that image to the image folder and give the image a name and store that name in the image name column of that uh, user. And the second scenario is that you fill in the new details of a user and actually it uploaded the image to the image database up in here and using this ID we can differentiate which images of which user because this is related to the customer ID here so I'm going to show you how to download both the images and use them in your list view so let's go uh, I'm using the get all customer list view adapter class uh, I'll just comment out this thing which actually where we decide which mobile customer is using and we sh show the image of that brand up in here. So for scenario one where we have an image in the image folder in our server, what we first need is we need a URL for that image folder. Uh, for me, I've used this static string here which is the URL for my image folder. Once we got that one, second thing we need is the name of the image we are downloading because every image has a different names and if different names means the different customers. Once we got that, we can get the full URL of the image which we are downloading. By that, what I mean is if I can show you, if I copy this up here and in my browser open a new tab and you can see up here that I have this customer response all these customers here and this image name key so for example if I choose this one uh, okay. let me do it again like this is image this is your image folder using this one I can download this image or for other one because I've already checked here so the browser remembers this one so for other one it will be this one as you can see and for others it will be this one uh, so once we get the full URL of the uh, image <coughs> then what we do is we'll create a new async task uh, which is a background task which will actually download the image and I do background task and okay, spell it wrong. And once we download the image, we'll assign that image to the image view of the list view cell. Which is this one. Okay. So let's start. I've got the URL of the image folder up in the top. And we'll get the name of the so I'll say name of image and I'll say JSON object this one because it gets all because it has all details of the user and get string for key name this one so this will give us the name of the image and then we can make a URL of it so I'll say the URL for image in server is base URL and the name of the image okay so now we'll create a new async task I'm actually passing the string in it which will be this URL Doing nothing in the progress and we are returning bitmap image ok 
Okay, so then once we create the new async task, we will execute it. And on execution, I'm passing this URL to it, which is a string. So we'll add the unimplemented methods, which is a background task. <coughs> and the other task, other method I need is on post execute. So these are the two methods I need for this. So in this one, we have download the image. Okay. First of all, I'll get the URL, this one, which is passed in it. Say the string URL is params first one because it's an array, it's a list. And I'll create the local variable bitmap, call it an icon, and give it a name null. And I'm returning this icon back, which will be used in this method. So to download uh, the image, I'm actually using the input stream, okay, and so basically you will also notice that I'm not getting any input errors, uh, it's because I've already tested or tried it, so I've already imported everything which I will need. Uh, you may get this, so just click on it and import that one. So I will get this java.net.ur okay. URL. I'll give it the URL and dot open stream. This open stream will give me the input stream back. Also, you'll see that it will give you an error that it can give you exception, so we need to handle it. So I'll that in a track catch block and once we get the input stream using the bitmap factory I will get the bitmap from it and I will assign it to the icon so icon will be equal to bitmap factory dot decode stream and this decode stream is giving back me the bitmap okay pass the value in it so these two lines is actually getting the <coughs> image from this URL. Okay. So this image is, is what we will download here. I mean, depending on the name of the image. And once we get the image up here, we'll use the cell mobile image view and set image bitmap, which is a result to it. Okay, that's all we need to do to download the image. Just try it then. Okay, so that's where we got the image from the server using their names. So, for scenario two, where we have to actually get the image from the database and then download it, we have to use the PHP script. So I already have a PHP script stored in my local host, which I have named as getImage.php. So what does getImage.php does? It is here. It connects to the server, uh, my database's test database, and see up here, it gets the user ID from this variable parameter ID so it gets we actually when we call this PHP script we give it the ID of a user the why I'm giving the ID of a user is that because using this ID of a user I can actually go into the image database and <coughs> get the image of that user so it says that select all from the image database where ID is equal to user ID which is this one and then once we get that image, which will be the raw image, use, I'm setting the header of this PHP script as an image.gpa type because our image is a gpa. And then I'm making a con 
echoing the image and I'm closing the database. So if I run this uh, PHP script here, which I've already opened up here, and give a different user ID, it will have a different image. So I do I have only one image which I have just cropped to just show the difference between the three images. So <coughs> so you need to have this so maybe I'll give it to you but please pause here and actually uh, create this get image.php file with these code in it and store it in the server with, with other PHP scripts. So for this scenario what we need to know is we don't need the image name, we don't need the image folder name so I'm gonna delete it but I'll say, say for scenario 2 we don't need these things okay we actually what we need is we still okay we don't need this one for sure we still need the URL for image and that URL is actually the PHP script so like I've shown you up here this is the URL for PHP script and it will give us the image based on the ID we'll pass through it okay so we need to get that one so instead of this okay first of all we need to know the ID of the user so we'll create the string ID of user is equal to JSON object dot get string and the name of the key is ID. So we got the ID of the user, now we'll get the get the, we'll make actually the URL for whole image. We'll say the URL for image in database which will be this script URL so my script is on this I've stored the script on the tutorial dot get image dot PHP okay and I'm passing ID to it I'm passing ID to it as a parameter and that ID is ID of a user okay if you take time here and log this uh, string you will actually get the same up here for different users okay to show you the log in okay once we get the URL of image rest is same we're passing this URL image into this async task I can show you and this will do the same uh, as before uh, it will just actually get the image from this from that script and we'll decode it into bitmap and then we'll assigning that into here let's just run it okay so you can see I have three different images this one this one this one and because they their ID is not present and so I'm not getting anything from there so here we go we got two things both images two scenarios both we have downloaded don't rem remember if you're using the images in the, which are stored in a database you need the script uh, for getting the image out of the database and echoing it as the JPEG so if you have a PNG use a PNG up here uh, you can Google up uh, 
if you don't understand uh, so that's it uh, uh, please subscribe and comment uh, if you have any questions uh, thank you